So today, after centuries, we have yet another music player, but don't be upset because this one is different. For start, it's written in Rust, but it's not supposed to be cute and small like Amberall, or dead in development, by the way. Rekordbox has active development and will consume every inch of your monitor. First launch is awfuler than awful, because with these three horizontal panes, Record Box reminds Kirigami design, and that terrible to use Elisa Player. I'm sorry, Elisa Dev, but it's really painful to use your app. Actually, we can collapse both the left and right sidebars and have a single window view, but we lose a lot in ergonomics. Plus, after we actually load some files, that load quite fast, I believe, then we realize the design isn't as bad as we initially thought. Okay, let's start with about 1200 tracks and 6.5 gigs. Forgot to tell you, Recordbox can only do local, I think that's on purpose. And anyway, playing files from internet is not gonna happen, chief. On the left side, we can select between genres and artists, but perhaps some more options would be nice. After we select something, we get the albums on the next row. Selecting an album will push the songs on the main view that's basically again split in two columns, one with the songs and one with the album's cover art. Or we can set to view the lyrics if available, and if not, we can edit them and save them on songs metadata. Now, we can add songs on a queue. And we can collapse albums, which is handy. But there is not currently a way to create and save playlists or favorite songs. We can resize the window, but then it becomes very inconvenient to use, and definitely the developer doesn't prioritize the app to fit on phones or intensive tilings which I guess is a big benefit if you want to take fully advantage of a full screen design. Having used this app for a fair amount of time, I can tell you with confidence that it really works. Yep, that design looks like garbage on the top of poops, but it magically just works. If you're asking me, Recordbox is possibly the best music player for large local collections by design. Of course, if you have a large music collection, you also need a search. You can search for whatever. And then there are filters to narrow down the results, and selection will place the item on main view. All right, the controls of this app is totally something I don't fancy at all. First of, all this playback component feels out of scope. It blends excessively much with the rest of the window when it really shouldn't. And then, there's the other stuff, like the sound volume. What the hell is this tiny slider with the stupid arrow on the bottom? We know exactly where it belongs. We just freaking pressed it, you know? That's mostly a complaint about Lib Adweta rather than the app itself, because that popovers are really looking retro, and basically that poor graphics and animations eventually damage usability and hurt our eyes just by looking at them. I mean, since when did we become KDE, huh? At least keyboard navigation is fine, and the overlay help is always there if you forget any shortcut. Mm, there are search providers if you actually use those, because personally, I have everything disabled. Kind of cool, though it directly opens the search box. And another super cool thing is that record box can play in background so you don't need to keep the window visible. Hold on a moment, it is coming. Another important feature is the replay gain that will make sure that all your tracks will have consistent loudness, so you won't need to adjust the volume manually between songs. Meanwhile, I think I first time see that on a music player, but basically Recordbox can monitor disk for changes and update live. Unknown in what CPU costs that comes though. On some more traditional options, we can set to restore the window size and even the playback state. And as I told you before, we are supposed to be able to edit and save the lyrics of a song, although that doesn't feel like it's working. Which brings us to the next chapter. For start, the source code is on Codeberg, which is super duper annoying because most people contributing in GNOME have accounts on GitLab and GitHub, so Recordbox requiring us to open and follow one more code social. Um, yeah, isn't really gonna happen, chief. Not in a big scale, anyway. In fact, there are only 10 issues open, all from the developer, but I found one I care about to be able to open a song on a file manager. Cool. Anywho. Um... Also, looking on the code, it doesn't seem super active. I mean, the latest commit is two weeks ago. But that maybe doesn't mean much, because if we check on commits, we'll see that the developer has some pattern. Like committing lots of things all together, and then he's having a release. So two weeks ago was also the latest release. Um, let me check the crates a bit.
ashp that's for portals um g streamer for audio very common for gnome apps really that notify debouncer should be the crate for monitor file changes for example if we enable the watch for change option gtk and libadwaita typical oh another thing i want to show you on code is that record box is written on blueprint and most newer apps are using blueprint already and to remind you, this project didn't start as a GNOME core thing, but now it's virtually everywhere. Okay, time for an official me score. I honestly had my doubts the first time I opened it, but after five minutes, I started using it fluently with the exception of controls buttons. 87 here. Graphics are kind of poor for such app and extremely monochromatic. It's possibly one of these rare times you can't call a GNOME app pretty. Considering it's a local-only music player, there aren't really high requirements. Play gain, gapless playback, and lyrics are nice, but missing the ability to open tracks in the file manager and set favorites, at least in that version, is also essential. And where is the AI cover art generation anyway, huh? Despite all its weaknesses, the overall look and feel of this app is simply amazing. Not amazingly amazing, but surprisingly amazing. The developer has a lot more to do to achieve complete wholesomeness, but he isn't light years away. Recordbox is a bit new project, so it's hard to say what's going to happen and how much dedication and commitment the developer will show. For now, the development is just okay, but without any community contributions. Then again, you know, Rust rules everything. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just tripping. And so the total score is 73, which makes the Recordbox the highest rated app, because I haven't rated any other, but whatever. Final thoughts, all right? Today, Recordbox has 800 downloads on Flathub, and Rhythmbox has 280,000. You know what I think? If the Recordbox developer doesn't quit, and if he moves the development on some other service, Recordbox will overrun Rhythmbox in a year. Max. Um, what you guys think, huh?